today I'm gonna do back and I'm gonna show you what I eat before I work out. It's very simple. That will be my energy source. Um, I have a lot of videos of how I make this, so you can check this out. These are the things that I put on it. I have uh, protein powder. Uh, what's in there? Oh, that's oatmeal. Um, and I have usually put creatine, BCA. So. This is my pre-workout. So work these and the rest will be after I work out. And today I'm gonna do back um, and a little bit of abs and legs. I always tore the legs because of my sciatica. Um, and uh, whatever I could record, I'll record. Most likely I don't think I'm gonna record everything because of the gym, uh, people coming and uh, I just don't want any issues with uh, anybody at the gym. So I'll record whatever I can. So, see you at the gym.
record eight results and that uh, workout routine and here I was just showing the weights that I use I'm just 45 pounds 5 pounds and what was the other one 40 pounds barbell I believe it was 30 pound dumbbells and for the resistance uh, 12.5 pounds I believe for the cable fly I don't know I just made up that um, name and 7.5 when I did the cable crossover which was the very first exercise that I did and as you can see I did not go heavy with the weight with the amount of exercise that I did in a row with minimal rest there is absolutely no way I'll be able to to do all of them if I went heavy that was actually one set I recorded only one set but I did three sets total I purposely did not cut out the video um, so that you guys could see uh, the amount of time that uh, I took between exercise. This chest press exercise with the 35 pound dumbbells was not part of the back exercise. Um, on Monday, which was two days prior, um, I did a PR with the 35 pound dumbbells. And while I was in this area, so I decided to test myself one more time before I moved to the next station. After I did the first, uh, after I did the first uh, uh, presses, I was like, oh, I feel good. Let me do one more. So I went and did another one. And I was pretty surprised at myself to see that I was able to do it. <clears throat> So I took advantage of the uh, while nobody was around me to record it. And then I walk, you know, put the dumbbells back sometimes I do go heavy but not all the time when I feel like I have the energy um, you know I do as heavy as I can usually for presses I do uh, 30 pounds sometimes 32 I think they have a 32.5 pounds so the 35 was the first time I've uh, I did it on Monday so while I was there and the bench was there and I said let me just go ahead and do it and <clears throat> I was gonna go to the other side to do a uh, lat pull down and some other things and I said you know what the camera's rolling because I was gonna come back here anyway after I did uh, all my back exercises uh, to do some arm exercise, um, some isolations. Um, so I said, you know what, let me just do it while it's, uh, I'm there. Um, nobody was around me. As you can see, there's not too many people. I mean, they are far away, but um, you could hardly see their faces. So I was like, let me just go ahead and do whatever I can do while I'm here. So this is the way I usually do some of my um, arm exercises. So um, I switch uh, hands as I do some triceps. I mean, different days I feel different ways of doing it, but this this particular time, this is this is what I was feeling um, to do. I knew I wanted to do some arms, but I didn't know in which order and how I was gonna do it. So the machine is there, nobody's waiting for it. I didn't wanna hug it. You know, nobody was waiting for it, so I said, let me just go ahead and do it. And the point here when I'm doing pretty much all of my exercises is, uh, especially for arms, I do one arm at a time, and then I switch while the other one is resting. And then, um, you know, I just go back and forth, and that's how I usually do my cardio. I pretty much do cardio every day when I'm at the gym. 
I switch again, I'm doing the same um, tricep that I did on the other hand. The other arm. Now I'm holding my, uh, my arm. It's not like I'm helping it. It's just that I wanted to stay somewhat uh, parallel to the floor. I didn't want it to go lower or too high or anything like that. Then I switch right away and I do a different type of tricep exercise and I'm holding my um, the bar what is that uh, supinated I, I just came from the gym right now while I'm record um, um, editing this video which I did what last week or something like that I started um, editing it last night and uh, I was feeling tired and I stopped so I want to finish with it here again I switch uh, my hand position you pointed it all this add up with the in terms of uh, how do you call this your cardio your rest time so now I'm um, switching the pulley position and now I'm gonna do biceps I'm resting a little bit my arms were burning Now I'm doing biceps, one arm at a time. Right now it's at the supinated position, where the palm facing up. Okay, now I'm getting everything back. And I switch the other arm supinated position again grip sometimes I put my uh, my other hand behind my back to somewhat uh, hold my elbow against my uh, oblique so it doesn't move too much because the only thing that I want to move is the forearm going up and down it's, it was burning <clears throat> Which again, I'm doing both um, arms at the same time. What did I do? Okay, it was a bit light, so I just add uh, half a pound or whatever, five pound or whatever it is. Okay, supinated uh, posi hand position. Sometimes I do that, like put my arm forward like this. Um, I did it once and it felt good. And every, ever since I started doing it, after that, not ever since, after that, I, once in a while, I do it. Where I put my arm uh, away from my uh, chest to do the, to do the uh, bicep curls. Okay. And I think that's all I did on this side and this area why did I put the camera in this position I don't know what did I do here I forget well, I decided to do some push-ups to pretty much finish everything now I remember yeah, I did this like two a week and a half ago. I keep putting it off to from editing it. And I think that's all I did on that side. And then I moved to the other side of the gym to do some lat pull downs. So in this area, uh, they have two different ways you could do your lat uh, 
pull down exercise. One has two handles and one have one particular handle where you could go wide and whatever. So the one that has the two handle, for some reason, I love to do this part of the exercise. And it's funny, on my, in my old gym, I used to do it, but they didn't have uh, this particular machine like that. And I used to do it on the machine that I just did my arm. Um, yeah, the last uh, exercises that I was doing on that machine. So I used to do it on that machine. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my goodness, this is great. At least I could sit down now and do it. I don't have to pull the bench away and then to come and do it. So this is something I like to do. And uh, I cross it over and I put my head forward and I'm just pushing. I, the initial pull is with my lat. And at some point, I have to push it with my arm. So it, it works really great. I, I like it. Usually after I do it, I feel my underarm is like burning. I'm taking a rest, but I'm going right back at it, doing, a different, uh, doing it differently. See now, it's, uh, the position of the camera seems a little bit far. I should zoom in toward the mirror so you guys could see. I didn't realize that and sometimes I do it one arm at a time there it is and each time I do it I uh, I increase the weight Now I'm going to switch the other arm. So the thing, I try to keep my entire body as stiff as possible. And yes, of course, sometimes it moves, but uh, the main part, my core, and I have that uh, pad against my knees, my quad, to help me stabilize myself. So I try not to move as much as I can. Okay, I'm going to take a little break. Yes, I, I removed the, what is it, is it half or I don't know how many pounds it is, but half. And then I increase it to the next level. Take a break. I don't know, maybe 10, 15 seconds in between. I go right back at it. See, I'm stabilizing myself against the pad. See, I push my head forward. Now I'm doing it with both arms. This time the thing is not, I didn't cross the thing over, the handle. It's straight, regular pull down. But the thing is that each arm are doing it uh, together. Um, individually, but at the same time. Okay, I increase the weight slightly again. Take a little break. Sometime when um, the, nobody's using the other um, one on the other side with the wide grip, I don't know if you guys can see it. The guy just passed by. If you look, it's for, he's further away, but it's closer. But I usually go back and forth between those two. See, now I'm doing close grip. This is laziness right here. I could have switched the handle. But to do that, I have to put the, what's that thing? The attachment uh, with the other one, so to make it one. So in order to avoid all of that, I put uh, the, the handle close together and I put my hands in between them and pull it um, doing the close grip. So that, that's laziness here. But I don't recommend it uh, to anybody because sometimes if you, it's sometimes I feel like I don't have um, blood circulation going on. So I usually stop right away, but most of the time I'm fine. So this is the other uh, lat pull down that they have. Um, and, uh, you know, there's different ways that I do 
those two together right here I'm stabilizing myself I'm doing regular pull like pull down you guys gonna see it. there's three different ways that I do it actually today I, I, I did back um, I started recording some of my workout I did the warm-up my abs and the camera died on me and um, I don't know it was sitting on my desk but I never plugged it see I take a little break and I'm going right back at it again and this time I'm just gonna put my body at the angle but the funny thing with this if the pad wasn't there if I'm not stable I will not be able to do it because of my lower back so I have the pad there to help me stabilize myself I keep my core tight and my leg is as tight against the pad as possible to give me that extra strength and stability I don't, I don't know how many reps that I did probably I don't know maybe 10 or 12 even count. So I take a break, I walk around and then come right back. It's funny I do that all the time when I'm on that uh, doing this like pull down. So now I doing it behind my back and I increase the weight slightly. I think I put the half pound or five pound it is. So I'm doing it behind my back. I think I only record one set and um, the reason I left it is because when I first put the camera there wasn't that many people and uh, I was like should I recut the second set it's gonna be almost the same thing so people are passing by so I just stopped so that was it thanks for watching I hope this video give you some idea and see how I do my exercises um, thanks for watching Give a thumbs up and share some of my videos. Thanks.